Hello guys, welcome back we're redoing the bathroom and if you didn't know now you know we went to go do a whole strip right here it pretty much took one roll I paid like five something for one roll so I realized I don't like the full strip anyways I kind of want to put one little design on this and spice it up so now we're only going to go halfway and then we're going to put wood right here you'll see the process of that trust the process right Anyways, and then it's gonna be black down here, so we're gonna do a like gold and black theme because I'm not gonna do white because I've done white. I've had half wood in the kitchen and I've done white and regretted it. When you have a lot of kids, six kids, um, you'll learn it's hard to have white. Just like this white wall's been through, it's been through heck. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go halfway down. I pretty much have everything I need now. I've been waiting on that, plus you, if you don't know, we've been pretty busy. Pretty much have everything. Tomorrow my dad should be here because today's Friday and we'll go get the wood and all that. But other than that, I pretty much have everything that I need to finish this bathroom besides the wood. Now, if you don't know, I had to go, hang on. I think I have to go get the stepping stool because I can't reach up there. But anyways, if you don't know, not the video before, but the video before that, it was a video of my homeless teenage daughter. And we're gonna get into that while we're getting this wall done. Just, I'm glad for you guys to be on this journey and this process with me. If you're here to watch some cute little girl do some home makeovers, that's not me. You got me, you got who you got. And obviously this is who you got. <laughs> Let me go get the stool real quick. Okay, we got the stepping ladder or whatever you want to call it. We only have like, like 30 minutes to kind of get this started and then I have to pick the kids up from school. Yeah, so. We'll come back and finish it or whatever too. So yeah, my aunt has the babies in there. I'm uploading a video, all that. I've been editing most of the day, get homeschooling done. Anyways, the video about Gracie. So Gracie is 19 now. She recently just turned 19. She moved in with my mom when she was 18. My mom, well, my brother ended up finding his dad and my mom and him kind of rekindled their thing. My mom met my brother's dad in Vegas. So my mom decided that she was gonna move to Vegas now. She moved to Kentucky and then now she moved to Vegas and Gracie kind of gone with her, but she met Chandler in Kentucky, her boyfriend, her boyfriend now. Let me climb up here real quick. A lot weller than I thought. Oh, come on. This to me, be nice. Anyways, oh, not gonna work. It's turning on me. Oh, what? Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so back to the story. Gracie met her boyfriend. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm trying to keep the video up too. Okay, Gracie met her boyfriend in Kentucky, and then when my mom moved, she had to figure out something, so they kind of went on their own in a way, and it was a struggle, so they were offered to stay with my dad. They came down here, they struggled, and shh, that is not like it's lining up after it starts coming down. I don't really care if it was like whatever. Or did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Okay, we got it somewhat lined up where it don't look too crazy. So anyways, they struggled here. It's their story to tell, but basically Chandler went back home. Gracie is just struggling to be an adult. I'll put it that way. She wanted to go back to Kentucky. So my dad rented a car and we took her back to Kentucky. Now when she went there, she really wanted to know where to go. So she's staying with my mom's friend that she made when she lived in Kentucky. And the goal is she's gonna get a job. She sold her car for money, so she don't have a car. Chandler don't have a job, so on and so on. They're figuring out life. It's just is what it is. So technically she's homeless, but she's not homeless. And the girl that she went to live with is going through a divorce herself. She won't be there long. It's just been a fun little thing. So basically that girl isn't staying at her house either. She's trying to find a place and Grace is gonna be along for the ride. But Gracie needs to get a job and figure out her own self. She is 19 now. One of those things, it's time to grow up. And I don't think his family knows she's there. Just a whole bunch of mess and drama. So technically she's homeless. It could get to real homelessness. And if it gets there, of course, she's gonna have to come back home. I need to go get a uh, box knife because I forgot that too. Never mind. I was a little more prepared than I thought I have it. So I'm assuming or I'm thinking I'm gonna cut it like right here. And then the wood will go right here. I'm least hoping. <laughs> this is where I start, I can't go back. 
you know, just do it, right? I'm gonna do it. Ah! Yeah, Tressie. Beach. You wanna go to the beach? Yeah. All right. No. Let's go. Bye. Let's go to the beach. <sighs> I hope I did that good. I'm gonna finish the rest of this. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So I don't want to bore you guys with all that. Okay, guys, we have this much done. And this is what I don't like because it gets wasted up there because you have to line it up the right way to make it look, to make it look, line up. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. To make it look lined up. But because I'm in a hurry, we got like 15 minutes left. I'm putting this one on and it's like lumpy and dumpy and I'm just over it. I don't know if it's just hot in here and it's starting to like stretch out or I hope these fit, but besides the point, I am stupid. Is this a square one? Uh, why, Crystal, why? There's no way to make this fit either. <clears throat> this does fit Mama Becky's, Travis's mom's, Sander, and she's across the street, but I don't have time for that. God, this one's falling apart. I've been waiting on sandpaper coming to finish this, but besides the point, I was putting this on and it was lumpy and I'm like, what is wrong with this? This thing is a bird to sand that part where I've had to patch up stuff. But I'm gonna be putting new shelving up right there anyways. And I'm to the point that I wanna rig things up, so we're rigging it up. And I guess we're definitely rigging it up now because, I don't know if this is on or off, so <laughs> because I can't get things right, I guess. That's on or off. Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna try to sand this whole spot, I guess, with this. If it don't work, it don't work. <laughs> okay, see that little gap up there? Yeah, I gotta fix that. So I'm trying to take extra pieces and figure out what the pattern is and cut that in there because I just had to do what I had to do. And this is what it was like. <laughs> Fortunately, I hope this works. Oh, 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 oh my camera! <laughs> he wants to give up with me. Say I. I. Ugh. If someone comes over and they nitpick at this, I don't want them at my house anyway, right? Isn't that the rule? Isn't that the golden rule? And you get like a little gold marker and fill in the little gaps. Okay, the time has came where I have to get my kids. So we're gonna stop there because I gotta do some finagling there. Travis messed up putting the shower in a long time ago. So we're gonna take the shower out. That's the sucky part. And put tiling because it's not just level, but whatever. Anyways, this all we're done with for now. Travis is calling. Um, I gotta go pick my kid up. So I'll get back with this. <sighs> you guys, I'm sweating, but we have all these like goodies. We have all these goodies and stuff I need to put up. Like I can put some of this up on the wall right now because the bottom is pretty much for decor. The only thing I know I can't put on the wall right now, oh, that's not even it, is the, um, oh, I left it in there, is the toilet paper roll thing. So I'm sure the toilet paper roll is gonna go about right here where it was before. Hi. And that'll be on the wood. So right now I got all of that finished up there and I could put like the new things for the towels and the shelving I want to put up and all that because the bottom won't be decor obviously. So at least I can get that done. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what I'm getting myself into. Oh shoot. <laughs> One cool thing is I got those clear shelving. I think I'm going to put right here to put like perfumes and stuff on. And it came with level it came with stuff to mark to like mark where you want your stuff so i think we're going to use it for most of this and see where i want to put everything first and then we'll start hanging stuff so let me open these boxes and figure out where we're doing things look at all this but it's going to keep it up there nice and safe that's all that matters oh the fun the fun. So at least I'm gonna get the the length of this and go off that. Oh, I'm probably gonna put that right here. That right there. Or should I put it more in the center and then put the hooks under here? Or should I put it right here? Can you like picture frames over here? You guys look at the tool I need the tools I need. Can you see this? We need a stuff finder, a Phillips screwdriver, pencil, a level, hammer, drill, a drill bit, a concrete drill bit. What? What? What did I get myself into with the shelf? Anyways, so I'm really thinking about putting it right here. I can put these little hooks 
down on the bottom so like we can hang these. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Hang them up like this. Or in the bubble. There, it's out, a little higher. All right, we'll see. Okay, Ooh, wobbly, wobbly. I got it all built. That's what I've been doing. And now we're gonna try to get this up here. So I got my pen, my level. This is where we gotta determine where we want everything. I'm thinking right here. I don't wanna go too high because there's two shelves above that. And then I have enough room for my hooks. I just wanna make sure the towels are hanging. And the towels can hang right here. This. Right here. I don't know where I was now. First gonna say we're right here. I hope I'm putting them where I really wanna put them. A shelf and a shelf. The shelf goes down some. I mean, I could always just put that there, put a shelf here, put another shelf next to it, like do half and half. Maybe I should do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I'll go like this. Or it could be like this. Or it could just be like that. We'll see. First step is getting the main piece up. I got this, and we're gonna put it, my vinyl, vinyl. I could also put like a hanging thing here for a towel, and then three down here. I think final decision, all right? Oh, I forgot, this goes like this. Anyways, ooh, and I'm talking to myself you guys right now. And then I'm saying it already looks good, but whatever. I'm gonna put the little level on here. Down, right there is the level. Oh shoot. And a hole. Oh. <laughs> Stay. Put. Alright. I don't think I have a step finder in here. Had a bunch of them. Where they went, I don't know. I'm just gonna poke some holes through here. Just hope for the best. That's all I can do. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and we're gonna stay right here. Hopefully I don't ruin anything. Can't go back. Now we need to stick these bad boys in there. Ugh, sometimes these break. All right. Um, do these twist in there? Oh, those are cool. Glad I noticed that before I started hammering it in here. Okay, way better, heck yeah. This is going a lot more smoother than I expected, so. What nails go in here? B, C, times two, B, C, okay. So then I go back and see what B, C was. <sighs> oh, so I can either for wood studs, for drywall. Okay, so I want these, which are medium size. So I have extra nails then, because they give you some for concrete, for bricks. Okay, so here we go. It's all coming together. Oh yeah, I don't even have to. This is so much easier than I expected. I'm enjoying this. So then you just easily screw it in here. Voila. And I thought this was going to be hard. What the heck? Technology nowadays. So then, I stick it in here. Hopefully it fits. Oh, I was about to say, it's not going to. Okay. Probably got it too screwed in. What's going on? What the heck is going on? Heck freaking yeah. Okay. Okay, so then I take my hammer and my screwdriver again. And this is where we're gonna figure out what we wanna do. Do I want to go like this? Go like that? Do I wanna do that? Or do I wanna stack it? I feel like if I stack it, I go so high up there. So maybe if I just go like this. You think? I got this new plant. So let's test it with that. Oh, I'm ripping it apart. It's super long. I'm gonna put the plant like this. You know, I get even longer. I just gotta keep connecting it somewhere, but whatever for now. I'm sweating you guys, but okay. My camera died, but I think I have what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna keep it off camera for now because I'm sweating, just look gross. But I need to do some measurements and I'm gonna try to make it even. So I think I'm just gonna do the a top, on top of that and go from there. Okay guys, I got all the holes, <laughs> measurements, and everything done, leveled. Let's hope it all works out though because it pretty much has to be perfect and I tried, so we'll see. First things first is we gotta put this in there and you screw those in. I'm gonna place them in there really quick to get them all ready. Okay, so we measured this about 16 inches. 
Oops, sorry, I don't even know where I'm at. So the center would be about an eight. So four, eight, 12, yep, okay. All right, if this all isn't right, <laughs> And basically you're gonna have to just design it a different way because all the holes are in place. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh, I didn't even finish it. I'm stupid. Okay, I got it all done now. So this is where the moment of truth comes in. Does it add up? Did I do good? See, here's the problem that I keep having. When I put the holes in, it's a little tight. We're gonna hope for the best though. I'm gonna try. You guys, I did it. It might be a little off if you see that one's a little higher than that one just a little bit, but guess what? I don't care. I did it. I don't care. I got it up there. The screw. The screws went in and that's all that matters. I'm excited. Yay! Pat myself on the back. Can I pat myself on the back? Yes, I can. <laughs> now it's time to figure out the towel situation. I don't know if I want to put like one, two, three. One right here next to the shower. I think I might do that because there's four of them. So again, I gotta do some measurements. Oh my god, you guys, I am sweating. You see the sweat? I'm sweating. That girl is sweating. But look at the background now. I need to clean my mirror, but look at that. Okay, so this is how we got the, the clips hanging. We got one over there. It's like when you get out of the shower, like I said. But it's all coming together, and I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I'm trying a little concoction. You know, like these, you gotta slide them in there. I try to mark it, put it on the wall, but I'm gonna put a little toothpaste and hope that it'll mark the wall, because I really can't think of anything else. And then once it marks the wall, then I know where to put the nail. I need something more colorful though, that's the problem. Maybe if I just put those little back sticker things on this and stick that on. Why didn't I think about that? I don't need to put nails. I have some of the sticky tape. Okay, I have these. I'm gonna cut them in half because these are pretty thin. We're just gonna stick them all over this bad boy. I do not know why I didn't think about this before. I don't wanna put a bunch of holes in the wall anyway, so. This works out without a doubt. Put lots on there make sure it sticks extra good and I'll show you what it looks like because I know you guys can't see right now so it's all like this we just gotta take the other side off now and hopefully it sticks like I want is this safe I don't know I mean it was holding mirrors up like this please don't fall you're all I got hopefully all is well and it works well and hopefully that's crooked it goes nothing Woo! She's up there. Yes! It worked. Watch it fall over. Yes, 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 yes. This plant, I don't think I'm gonna keep it there. I don't know if you guys, yeah. This plant, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there because I already have this plant. And yeah, I just put it up there for now, but it's coming together. Okay, next up, we're taking this out dated old thing out that's basically ripping out of the wall, anyways. And we're gonna put little shelves up and I'll figure out. Like, because we still need something to dry our hands off with, so I'll figure that out. But right now, we're gonna redo this. I just don't think I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon because this thing just ripped everything out. Oh look, these are the same way as the ones I put up there. I did not realize those existed back then because those things old, but whatever. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna have to patch some holes before we do what I wanna do. And let that dry, and then I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. So basically we're gonna be sticking these up there and I have like a bunch of them so I didn't realize they were so short. So I feel like I'm gonna double them and then we'll put like perfumes, makeup and stuff like that on this. And then I don't, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I have no clue what I'm gonna put up there yet. <laughs> I know right here I have a picture I wanna put up. It's like a cow using the restroom, reading the newspaper I'm excited about. But right now, um, that's what we got. <laughs> so we're gonna patch that and then we'll get to it. I don't know if I'm gonna paint this black now, this green mirror, and redo all that too because we're gonna do black and gold. So I feel like that's only fitting. And then I just got a new shower curtain, but we'll probably have to get a new one again. So this will be continued. I don't know if I've updated you guys yet, but I figured out what I want to put up there. Travis's sister came up with a good idea to put those like cotton ball swabs, the, um, tooth, you know, tooth flosses, all that fun stuff. And then I'm gonna put in a basket up there. I was looking for either clear or like a wicker one, but they have those, that's what I got. And then in one jar, I got the bigger ones. We're gonna do Epsom salt and bath bombs. I'm gonna wait to get the bath bombs tomorrow because I couldn't find them. So we're gonna go with what we got right now. And yeah, and then I got spackling to fix this hole right here. So that way tomorrow, we can get the other stuff up. 
I ordered the other stuff off of Amazon, so it will be a little while. I think Sunday. Today's Friday, so Sunday it'll be in. As long as I get this done. And then I thought about taking the extra wallpaper I have and putting it on this one to kind of give it like a little, little spice it up. I don't know yet, because this wall needs something. Or just repaint in here, repaint everything white. All right, I'm sure I'll have to put another a little bit on there tomorrow. Oh. Yes, buddy. Yeah, you want me to kill the mosquito? Yeah. Yes, I will kill the mosquito. Yeah, I'm All right, let's make a basket at least of what I want to do. For starters, I want to do, this was afraid I was kind of short. I mean, like a taller one, but we got what we could get. Bath time stuff. I got little face things. Um, we got some tampons. No one, I mean, no one ever wears tampons around here anyways, but we got them just in case someone comes over and they need a tampon. And then I have some um, little eye things and stuff I'm gonna fill this up with. And all the other stuff we'll have to do when I get the other stuff, so. I'm excited. Okay, I'm not 100% sold on this. Like for one, you can see how tall it is. But this is the basket and it's up there. Kind of makes me wish I would have lowered everything because that is so high up. Like I want to be able to reach when I'm in the shower. Oh shoot, whenever I'm in the shower, I just like grab a razor if I want. Grab some of those little Epsom salts or just stuff like that. It's almost like I want to put it right here, but I like the decoration right there. So, or put the decoration up and put that stuff right here. Is that what I should do? And then when I get those little like sets, put it here and keep the decorations up there. Cause that's like, we're not gonna reach for anything, they're decorations. And then all the other stuff will be right here. That's like easy access to reach stuff. Should I do that? I don't know. You guys tell me, help me out. Tell me what you think. I don't know. I have <laughs> like flat, like this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, dad's here doing the tub, and I'm not gonna show more any more of my bathroom remake over until it's all done because, yeah, that's just what I want to do. So, you guys get to see all this. I'll show you the uh -oh, after. Can't. What happened? Uh, I, Are you afraid water's gonna squirt everywhere? And you can't shut off the water, right? I can outside, but the, the whole thing is this looks like it's plastic. See? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if we take that out or is it connected to everything back there? And that's what I'm trying to find out. Here goes the fun part. Everybody says they have everything for the, to get the job done and we don't have everything to get the job done. Someone in our, on our street has to have one though. Come on, Trusty. Come on, Trusty. Well, dusty and crusty. Hopefully, it works. Buddy! Buddy! Addie and I are going to try to be the man around here and put this piece of board up here. I'm going to take this trim down. But my dad says I shouldn't, so do this, Addie. Addie's mad at my little level. <laughs> it was free. And I'm going to lose it. And it's broken. Here we go. Oh, I just found myself. And I'm gonna have you put a, a screw in. Alright, we're gonna put it in anywhere. It looks so uneven from here. What do you want? I'll put the top. It looks like it looks slanted like down. It's probably because of this. It doesn't level. Is it level? Yeah, it's actually a little bit of
sold these jaws. And here's the after. Okay guys, so obviously this bathroom is not fully finished because one, we have not changed this mirror out. We need to get more light bulbs. I have so much to do with this stuff up here. There's just so much. So here's a little story. We gotta get this video out quick because kids are already running through these, the bath bombs. I bought a bunch more. It was filled to the top in like one or two days, gone. I've already had to refill some stuff. Um, <laughs> I'll insert a picture, but right here was a nice mouthwash with uh, cups and everything, and Trussy grabbed it. I didn't like it was glass from the get-go. and shattered it all over the ground, so now that's gone. But like I said, I didn't like it was glass anyways. I kind of didn't like it, but what a waste of money. Whatever. I'm just like, whatever at this point. I have a two-year-old. The first day I put these, these little rugs down right here. Tressie clogged the toilet. She clogged the toilet and it flooded. It was either Tressie or Matthew. I, it was one of my kids. I can't even remember at this point. Just put the rugs down and already, already the rugs had to go out. What else has happened? Oh, right here. See this right here? When I'm hanging the towels, they're ripping off of here. So what I wish I would have done is just cut a square out and stuck these on the actual wall, but I didn't. So I guess we're gonna have to rig it up. I might just have to get new of these or just new back tape and do what I wanna do. Just depending on how good I can get that sticky stuff off. What else has happened? That's pretty much it. Tressie's got her new potty in here. Oh, this baseboard. You see how it won't paint right here? And I don't like it anyways because of this wood right here. The wood isn't matching up with it. So we're gonna take it off anyway. So I measured this enough to put a piece of wood down here. And there's still just so much I gotta do. This mirror, I have a new mirror, but I know when I put this up, I glued it to it. I wanna put white, white all around here and pictures up here and just so much that I know before I even get to that spot, everything's gonna start getting ruined. And I wanna show you guys. So. It's kind of like a mini halfway through bathroom remodel. What I do love is like when we're taking pictures in the mirror or vlogging or anything like that. I love this wall so much. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It is, I mean, I'm so happy with it. Other than that, I'm not gonna sit here and ramble and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait till the next, hopefully the next week and we'll start working on more. I'll get to show you guys more. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to know anything or anything was, comment down below. I'll link it to you. Most of it's from Amazon anyways. I ball on a budget, so when I buy things, it's not all expensive. And then the, the girls, before I do move on, the girls love this spot. They put their makeup and stuff, which that's kind of what it's for, for them to do what they want. And yeah, so I hope that's all, yeah. It is gonna be what it is. I forgot what it's like to have a two-year-old and you know, you can't really have much decorations or anything nice because those terrible twos, man. But I love you guys so much and I will see you again next time. Bye. Bye.